Hello everyone, Loremaster of Sotek here, and I hope you're all having a lovely day. We've had pretty much a full 24 hours since the Cathay trailer dropped. There's of course been just tons of excitement, people losing their minds everywhere, and every content creator under the sun is just pumping out everything they can, and I need to make sure I'm among those ranks. So today, I wanted to dedicate a video to focusing on all of the units and characters and playable things that I have managed to find by just kind of combing through every single little place that I can, trying to find out what information I can find, and there's a pretty good amount. So I just wanted to share all of that with you all today, show off some pictures and screenshots and videos about where I found all these guys. I will have links to pretty much all the relevant information down below, uh, places where you can find most, if not all, of this. So without further ado, let's, of course, just start with the trailer. Of course, uh, I talked a good bit about the trailer during the reaction video. But I wanted to just kind of go through and really nitpick out everything that we see uh, in the trailer. Which this, some of these, I'm not going to worry too much about right at the beginning just because the lighting's a little bad. But basically, uh, the, the important thing to note about this picture, and it's kind of hard to see when you, when you pause uh, as opposed to while it's moving. Uh, is that there are basically what I guess you we could call peasant infantry to start. I don't know what the technical name is going to be, but if you look down here, there's a bunch of guys with um, spears that have these wide hats. They, they have these large circular hats on their heads that uh, we have some artwork from Games Workshop, and they appear to basically be like the lowest tier infantry. I'll show you a screenshot uh, in a little bit that also has some more of them. We also, of course, have uh, Miao Ling, uh, who is, uh, without a doubt, I think, going to be my first playthrough, unless they just really blow my mind with Nurgle. I am very, very fond of this character, and I'm super excited to get to play with her. But um, it's kind of skipping ahead to where we have actual soldiers wandering around, the first thing we have here are what look to be the medium tier infantry with these jade colored um, little feathers and su stuff coming out, or plumes. And I believe these are, so there's an article, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, that has names for various units. And I believe that these guys are the jade warriors. So it seems that there's kind of a naming convention in Cathay, where there's different tiers. So you kind of have basic people, which I imagine aren't going to have super duper fancy names. And then there's a medium tier, which is referred to as Jade. So we have, for instance, the Jade Warriors, and we also have the Great Jade Longma Riders, which the, the Great Jade Longma Riders are the flying dragon horses. I know a lot of people thought they were, uh, I think the word is Kirins, but they are not. They're Longma which I will have, uh, that is their official name, and that's also their name in mythology. A lot of people were getting them mixed up for a different type of um, mythological creature in Chinese myth. But the Longma are, liter Long or the Longma apparently almost directly translates in English to just dragon horse, and that's what they are. Uh, they, they are essentially pegasi, but they have scales and dragon wings instead of you know, bird wings and uh, fur. So uh, then, of course, we have these ladies who I don't know what they're called, but we know that they are essentially rocket infantry. So they have these, they have those uh, lovely um, rocket launchers that they use to shoot out missiles. It seems that Cathay is going to rely very heavily on explosive munitions as opposed to... Uh, powder and shot like we're used to with the empire and might expect to see in like and you know kislev and the southern realms if we ever get those or the dogs of war uh it seems that um uh, kislev is much more reliant on or sorry Cathay is much more reliant on explosive munitions they do have some powder and shot units which i'll show um some stuff later but uh we've got one of their big cannons there which is their war machine which also shoot a lot of rockets and here you can actually see that we have some archers. 
So we've there are looks to be some very basic bow infantry, um, kind of among this more peasant class. And then here, these guys in the super fancy armor that looks ridiculously heavy, and they've got halberds and shields, which we all know that halberds and shields is like god tier. <laughs> these appear to be the celestial dragon guard. So these are also named in the article the celestial dragon guard. Uh, is likely the top tier, especially because their helmets have dragon imagery on it. They have, like, dragon heads uh, for the visage on their helms. So this is, I think, without a doubt, the Celestial Dragon Guard, and is likely their highest tier infantry. Oh, here you can actually see the peasant infantry. So there's the peasants over there on the side. You can see that they're, they're very lightly armored, barely armored, actually. It looks like the best thing they've got are, like, some shoulder pads and their little hats. Though not all of them do. And they, they look like they're just basic spear infantry. And then we have this gentleman right here who I would say is almost guaranteed some kind of melee hero. I doubt that he's a lord. It seems that Cathay is going to rely very heavily on sorcerer lords. So I imagine all of their um, lords are probably going to be casters. As opposed to uh, having like regular melee dudes. It's probably going to be those with dragon blood in them. Which dragon blood and Cathay seems to directly... Uh, equate to um, being able to use magic are going to be your lords. And then you will have your uh, heroes being these uh, regular humans that are probably melee fighters as well as perhaps lower tier wizards. But here we get a good shot of those all those different infantry types. Um, here we got, you know, the Longma Riders flying by. And of course we got the War Zeppelins. Well, I, I call them Lantern War Balloons. Uh, we don't know, of course, the specifics about them. We don't really get to see them in, like, a battle-type screenshot, so it's unclear whether they're single entities or if they travel in units like gyrocopters. Um, it looks like there's probably two different variants because of the way... If you look at the designs on them when they're kind of flying around, there seems to be subtle differences between the version that has the double-tier balloon or the double-tier lantern and the ones that have the single-tier lantern. So I would assume, based on the imagery that we've seen so far, that uh, the it looks like the double lanterns are larger, notably larger, than the single tiers. So I would probably guess that the single tiers are more equivalent to like the um, the steam gun gyrocopter, so the lower tier gyrocopter, and then these ones that have the double tier lanterns are the mid or high tier flying. Uh, missile unit but of course we know that these guys oh yeah look there's like a huge difference between the two so there's two different variants of lantern war balloons um they all come uh with these cool little things that their wings are attached on and in addition if you look here you can see they've got long range rifles on them and uh out of the front out of these dragon mouths on the double tiered lanterns they don't have it on the single tier lantern the single tier lantern looks like it literally just has people with guns because you'll notice there's no like bottom area for rockets or anything. But the double tier balloons has this. This dragon mouth out of the front where you can see all of the rockets sticking out as these points. So those are all of the rockets that shoot out. And uh, I wonder if they're going to call them like dragon flame missiles or dragon flame projectiles or something. Because it seems like uh, whenever they have those kind of missile launchers they always have them coming out of a dragon's mouth. Whether it's the war machine, the handheld rocket or shoulder mounted bazookas essentially, or um, the these large ones on the airships. So it seems that the, the larger uh, lantern war balloon has uh, front mounted rockets and then it has a number of ladies inside with guns. Which something really interesting I've noticed about the faction, I'm sure many of you have as well, is that it seems Cathay has a notable split of um, men and women where all of the black powder weapons are used by women. I, I don't want to I don't think it's going to be just all ranged weapons because we have heard mention, and we'll go over this later, about how there are bow wielding infantry. So there are people with bows and there, uh, there are crossbows as well. And it seems like the men, uh, which seem to make up for the most part the combat infantry, are also capable of having crossbow units or crossbow variants. So I suspect that it's going to be that all of the black powder or rocket based units are purely women. And then maybe all of the melee infantry will be men with maybe like one or two units being mixed or something. 
but that's what I've seen so far. And that seems very deliberate. And we'll talk about that kind of in another video. It seems to tie very heavily into the entire concept of yin and yang, where there seems to be a heavy focus on, uh, and this is something I'm going to talk about significantly either tomorrow or on uh, Friday, but there, yin and yang and the concept of harmony is everything for Cathay. And it seems that they may be even going so far as to have yin and yang, um, you know, represented by femininity and masculinity. So, which I believe is uh, fairly accurate based on some conversations I've been having with people that are much more well-versed in Chinese mythology and history than I am. Um, so I'm going to have a really, really, I think, interesting video coming out on that soon. But here we can see more of the girls carrying around their big guns. Here we can see one of the Gisales. Um, They're not going to be called Gisales, I imagine. But we can see the technology of the Giselle that Cathay has, where they have these really big, impressive shields and these super big long guns. And I'll show you a screenshot where we actually see them shooting in battle. But Cathay flat out has their own form of Giselles. And then here we get our first of the Sorcerers, which I'm assuming this is a Lord level character. She might be a hero, but there are, we know there are two kinds of casters in Cathay, at least so far. There are casters of yin and casters of yang. And it seems that in Cathay, uh, you know, most wizards have like a shorthand name for what they are. Um, and it seems that the shorthand name for the yin and yang casters are alchemists and astronomers. Now, it could be that it turns out that maybe alchemists and astronomers are something different. And then there's also yin and yang sorcerers. That's totally possible. But um, so far from what I've seen, I've only seen two types of support slash wizard heroes so far. And those look to be the, the yin and yang casters. Uh, unless they just want to go like just super all out. But here we get another view of kind of some of the, kind of some of the warships. We see more longbow riders flying around. We've got uh, my best girl, best girl, dragon waifu. <laughs> and um, then we hop into battle. Which, uh, we'll go ahead and analyze the Zinch units as well, and I, I will just kind of, like, just literally go down the list for anyone that's wanting to keep track. Um, but here for Zinch, we just hop right into, we've got Chaos Furies, so we got Furies of Zinch, uh, which instead of being the red, uh, of corn, obviously they're the blues and purples of, uh, and pinks of Zinch. And then we've got Screamers, which Screamers are basically... Uh, large flying manta rays that are very spiky and like to cut people up. Uh, there we see the uh, we see the cannons from earlier in the video firing, and you can look. They're cut. They look to basically function like um, uh, hellblaster volley guns. So it's a circle that, if you watch very carefully here, uh, I bet can I I can slow down the playback speed. If you watch very carefully. Um, You'll watch over here. You can see them. Ah, oh, they don't rotate. Dang it. I thought I saw them rotating. But they it's it's a circle that just goes pew, 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 pew. Um, and then uh, next to them. Uh, oh, look. You can actually see the Giselles firing right here. You can see all their shields and their, their firing. I didn't even realize that they were in the trailer. Uh, I saw them in a screenshot, but I missed them in the trailer because they're, they're actually really subtle uh, at this part. And uh, so you've got that, and it looks like those are crossbow jade warriors. They're either holding, yeah, those are definitely crossbows. So there we've got jade warriors, because you can tell because they've got the mouth guard, and they've got the jade plumes. We've got jade warriors holding crossbows back there. And then for Zinch, we've got a brand new unit. This is actually a unit that's never existed in fantasy, and it doesn't even exist in Age of Sigmar. Uh, we've got flying... Uh, they look to be chosen, not Chaos Warriors, based on how, like... I mean, these guys are decked out. Um, and they, they've they got, like, all the fancy armor. they got fancy-ass... Sh they've got shields and halberds. So these are, like, top-tier um, infantry, or cavalry, I guess. But they're flying on discs of Zinch. Uh, this is a brand new unit. I think it's a fantastic unit. I'm super excited to see it in game. I'm curious what they're going to be called. Um, if I had to guess, these seem to be basically Zinch's answer to uh, Juggernauts of Corn. 
because one of the one of the big things is that Zinch did not really have a super elite combat unit in fantasy. Um, you would usually rely on the other gods for that. So these guys seem to be filling in that role where they're, you know, you can't have um, skull crushers. So what is going to be the heavy cavalry for Zinch? And that's these guys, except for their flying heavy cavalry, uh, which is just hilarious. And uh, leave it to uh, leave it to Zinch to just one up everything we've thought we've understood. But they look absolutely fantastic. Uh, here we get some more views of the sky battles, which it looks like it looks like uh, aerial warfare between Cathay and Zinch is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, like, <laughs> like I can't wait to see. It, it's just crazy to imagine that you could have a full sky battle now. Uh, because some of the races are getting so advanced. And that if you and your opponents, like, agree to it, so, like, everybody gets a ground character and sticks them in a corner, or maybe they could add another mode where you can only take flying units, uh, but there's no, like, penalty for not having ground units because you can't take them, I think, A, that would be a super fun multiplayer mode, and B, you could have some really fun fights between Zinch, Cathay, Dwarves, High Elves, Vampire Counts. Like, there's a good number of armies that have just a very generous amount of flyers, but it really looks like Cathay and Zinch are just bringing all the fun. Um, very, very excited to see all this jazz. <laughs> I love that, love that chaos where he just zips on by with a long the rider chasing him. Um, oh, there goes one guy. <laughs> so here we see that the large balloon has these ladies with the very, very, very big guns, uh, pew pewing as best they can. And we also see that on the smaller ships, here we see the bigger ship is actually shooting rockets, just like the War Machine does. But on the smaller ships, you can see ladies with guns uh, shooting people, which is pretty cool. So it looks like there's probably only two variants of the uh, flying things. And here, the Furies. Man, Furies look good. The old Fury models are hideous. These ones look like they're ripped. And then, of course, Big Daddy Kairos. I was genuinely shocked they showed off Kairos Fate Weaver. Genuine, like, super shocked. I figured it was just going to be a regular Lord of Change. Um, but Kairos kind of show up, and he almost stole the show, to be honest. I, I, until Ming Lao, or, uh, Miao, yeah, Miao Ying. Gosh, I'm, I will get it where I'm able to do that without stumbling. Um, but, uh, uh, until she showed up, I was, I was really, uh, feeling like Zinch kind of stole the show for a minute. But because of Kairos. Uh, back here, you can actually see um, some flamers of Zinch. If you look very, very carefully, um, you can see the flamers of Zinch back here. And the way you can tell is because they've got pink fire. Um, the, and I've noticed there's actually two types of flamers. There's a unit of flamers of Zinch, which have the pink fire. And there's a whole bunch of them. But there's also a hero variant I've spotted in a screenshot I'll show you guys in a bit. Which is the exalted flamer of Zinch. And it's a single entity uh, hero character. And he has blue fire. Um, but we see Kairos unleashes probably... I, I would assume this is like Bolt of Change or Blue Fire of Zinch or something. But it just completely and utterly wrecks these poor ladies. But uh, so we, we can kind of skip ahead a little bit because we're, we're here to kind of check some things out. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the Terracotta Sentinels. So the official name for these is Terracotta Sentinels. It looks like Cathay only has a single war machine. I haven't seen any evidence of... Well, that's not true. I've seen a support war machine, which we'll check out in a minute. But that, when it comes to like traditional war machines, I'm thinking the um, the rocket batteries are the probably the only ones. Of course, here we've got some more uh, Zinch goodness, as we've got uh, Blue Horrors of Zinch, Forsaken. Uh, I've also seen... Chaos Spawn of Zinch, you know, makes sense. The, the Forsaken, I have to say, the Forsaken got a huge glow up. And here you can see more Flamers of Zinch. See? Pink Fire, Flamers of Zinch. Um, which the Flamers look absolutely hideous, by the way. They're literally just teeth. It's just flesh, teeth, and fire. <laughs> just, just copious amounts of flesh, teeth, and fire. Uh, we've got Pink and Blue Horrors as separate units. I'm not sure what the interaction is going to be between, like, if pinks will split or not. I'm assuming you'll be able to just take blue horrors as, like, a super-duper cheap unit. Uh, hopefully, pinks will still split once the unit dies. You know, it'd be great for them to, like, 
if the unit dies or gets like at 10 percent health it dies and it it has like a it'll turn into a unit of uh oh that that look maybe she's the alchemist yeah she has to be the alchemist based on what i've been saying i'm pretty sure she's the alchemist watch your hands watch here watch here so right here look at that she's holding a vial and she throws it and or she either crushes it or throws it but when she uses this vial that's when she starts using all of her magic so i'm betting significantly that this is the lore of yin sorcerer of uh, the lore of yin um dragon blooded sorcerer and she is the alchemist and so we see that we know that she's a wizard she's got alchemy potions and to my understanding yin is like the the darker side of yin and yang and represents femininity and yang is the lighter side of yin and yang and represents masculinity and i think we actually see that coded in the how their magic looks so here we see she throws it looks like she throws it and it summons all this crazy ass they almost they look it looks like ink brush strokes right a lot of people thought it was metal at first but i think it's i think it's inky darkness so we get this like crazy uh like it looks like she's earthbending too like it she's literally it literally looks like the earthbending form from avatar the last airbender which i know is based on an actual martial art so it makes sense that she's using martial arts um but it looks like she's kind of summons this inky they, they literally look like ink brush strokes that are capable of piercing through people and murdering them but she does all these really, really cool tricks. And then, of course, Kairos Fate Weaver comes down and is like, Haha, that's cute. <laughs> Let me show you real magic. Gaboom! <laughs> um, which I, I don't even... I mean, that might be the Violet Flame of Zinch spell. Or maybe that's like <laughs> the Gates uh, a spell that's super obnoxious. And then, of course, um, Meow Ying became my favorite character in Total War Warhammer 3 so far. And turned into a super badass Storm Dragon. So, that's the trailer. Good number of units right there. So, the rest of the stuff we're going to be looking at is a lot simpler. So, you may be wondering, okay, so the lady had a vial, and she summoned kind of darkness stuff. So, okay, I can see the argument that she's the alchemist and the, the lore of Yin Sorcerer. So, what does the lore of Yang Sorcerer look like? And he's actually right here. So, Games Workshop put out a video called Warhammer Studio Presents Cathay, which, not to throw shady games workshop, but uh, this video was a little weird, in my opinion, because it, I don't know, like, it to me, it very much comes off as, like, games workshop trying to pat themselves on the back <laughs> and be like, look at all the great job we did. I don't know. I feel like they were trying to really act like Creative Assembly didn't help them or participate significantly, which I know for a fact they did. But anyway, that's not my business, so let's move on. Um, so this is the lore of Yang Sorcerer, and I believe he's the Astromancer. And you'll notice that he looks very similar as far as, like, he's got the, the scrolls that she did. He's got little things around him. Um, but where the Alchemist threw a vial and summoned all that inky black stuff, um, you'll notice that his spells are very, very bright. So here, he actually summons a Cyclone. So he summons this big Cyclone of just pure white. And it's just this big old cyclone tornado thing that just picks up and throws a guy into the air. Um, uh, I'm, that actually looks like it's more of an attack animation because he's only targeting a single entity with it instead of a spell. But um, I would bet money that this is the Astromancer and the lore of Yang uh, Sorcerer. Um, so after that, we also get a little bit more footage. We're here. We see the uh, melee hero from the trailer. So this is the exact same guy. Um, he's got the, he's got the curved sword and he's got the same hat, same color scheme, but he's riding on a horse and, uh, you'll notice that he actually, uh, so this looks like to just be like a regular infantry hero, um, who can upgrade to get like on a bigger mount, but he's on a, he's just on a regular horse that's got some cool armor and he's like, ah, let's fight. And here we've got, uh, Zinch showing off here. We've got chaos spawn of Zinch, which looks like normal unit sizes, got lots of pink horrors we got some blue horrors over here uh, and you'll notice the pink horrors have a shooting attack and so do the blue horrors i've seen both the blue and pink horrors throwing fire and they throw fire of their associated color so the pink horrors throw all pink fire 
and the blue horse they're all blue fire which if you're watching the uh trailer you'll notice this part where uh right here so this part where you see all this fire arcing out of the sky that's the shooting attacks from the pink and blue horrors. I think it's been like messed with a little bit to give this kind of a cinematic appearance, but that looks to be their shooting attack because it looks to be the same shooting attack right here. It's the exact same animation. So um, we see that there and then there's nothing else in here really worth talking about. Um, they kind of, they show off some artwork though. So like here's the Astromancer. So they're, they've got some concept art here of the Astromancer where you can kind of see what he looks like and that, you know, they show him animated later in the trailer. And here we get a look at the uh, celestial, the celestial dragon guard, and you'll notice there's multiple variants. It looks like there's a sword and board variant, there's a halberd and shield variant, and there's a crossbow variant. So we see they've got these super sexy crossbows with the dragon mouse on the front. So we've got crossbows there, um, and then when we look at the other art games workshop provided, so this looks to be. Um, the uh, the concept art that Games Workshop made for the Celestial Dragon Guard, or perhaps this is maybe some kind of like Lord or Hero character, but this is definitely, I mean, this guy's even more heavily armored actually than the Dragon Guard were, because he's like literally the only thing showing are his eyes, but it looks like a very similar style to um, the uh, the Warriors. It, it's It's almost an identical style, but it's a different color scheme, um, and they're, the helmet's got a little bit more protection. Um, I would not be surprised if this is maybe a hero or lord, uh, melee character. Or maybe it's just some concept art they made, um, that, you know, was changed slightly. Here we get a look at the peasant, um, uh, where they've got these, like, really, really sexy hats that look really cool. And you see they're very lightly armored. Uh, and then this is the jade guard. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm pretty sure this is the celestial dragon guard. Um, because it's just, it's just the colors are different because it's concept art. Um, but this is almost assuredly the exact same. So this is the Celestial Dragon Guard, and then this is the Jade Warrior. So you'll notice they have the exact same armor scheme. Um, though, uh, when Creative Assembly interpreted them, they gave them, like, those, their armor comes up to block their face. But I, I'm, I think this is, these are the Jade Warriors. And once again, they also have crossbows, and we saw them holding these crossbows in the trailer, they also can come with swords, which we see some of them in a screenshot I'll show you, and then they have spears or halberds or whatever they are. So that's great. Uh, I probably shouldn't have X'd out of that because i got to keep all this stuff for later, don't I? So um, then we've got this article, which is the one I was telling you about. Uh, this is probably the most interesting article I've seen put out, uh, which is by Game Watcher. And they talk a little bit about uh, Cathay. They talk about that they have the lores of yin and yang. Uh, they talk about the dragons. Uh, we know there are multiple dragons. It's not just the two legendary lords. So uh, what I'm guessing is that there, I must, I would not be super surprised if like the lords for Cathay are all dragons, um, or maybe you have to like deal with a court of dragons. But I, I, I would not be super surprised if all of the lords are dragons that can turn into humans but perhaps the two legendary lords are like the big bads like the biggest and strongest or maybe the lords will just be dragon blooded but there is mention of there being no more dragons than just the two legendary lords and here we get the name drops of jade warriors celestial dragon guard which are noted to be core units um like like they make up the the foundation of your army and then we get name dropped the Terracotta Sentinels, the Wuxing War Compass, which I'll show you in a minute, and then the Great Jade Longma Riders. So, you may be wondering, what the hell is a Wuxing War Compass? And I'll tell you, I don't know, but what I do know is that it's this thing. Um, so, this thing... Uh, looks to kind of line up with various um, devices that have existed in Chinese history. Um, I believe the actual device, this the, the device this one looks to be based on, uh, the closest thing I've seen to it is a very, is a moderately ancient, or a fairly ancient um, seismograph. But it could be that this is also based on a compass. You know, it's it looks like it's got like cardinal directions marked out. 
like kind of like a northeast west south thing and then like you've got the northeast north uh northwest southeast southwest with these all the dragon heads pointing in various directions and it's just this but there's no humans on it like there's nobody driving this thing it's literally just four horses pulling around a giant glowing green orb thing i have no idea what this is but if i had to guess which i am it's probably a support piece it's probably some kind of large uh it's probably something similar to like an engine of the gods or a um a mortis engine or any of the uh any of those like large support pieces that uh provide lots and lots of buffs nearby um some other things i want to draw your attention to in this image we've got the Gisales here uh going boom boom we've got multiple types of infantry so here we've got lots and lots and lots of jade warriors uh but you notice these jade warriors over here have sword and board these and maybe the yellow maybe the yellow plumes are not jade warriors maybe only the jade plumes are jade warriors maybe the yellow plume oh wait no the yellow i don't know <laughs> i don't know um these guys maybe maybe those are celestial dragon guard actually but uh you know we can see they've got like pikes and or uh halberds and shields um it, it's difficult for me to tell all the specifics right now but here we've got some close-ups of the longma riders which they look super super awesome uh they got a little bit of fur i guess but they're almost entirely scales uh but their riders have big old pointy sticks and shields uh, if you look really close, way back here, these are undeniably Chaos Knights of Zinch. So one thing that's kind of interesting to notice is that Corn did not get Chaos Knights. There are no Chaos Knights of Corn. You just go straight to, you just go straight up to uh, Skull Crushers and Blood Crushers, which are the Mortal and Demon variant, uh, respectively. Obviously, Zinch doesn't have that. So to give him a, a ground cavalry unit. You can see we've got Chaos Knights of Zinch. We got Blue Horrors. We got units of Flamers here. And um, if you look in the back, here looks to be an Exalted Flamer. So you've got the regular Flamers, got Blue Fire. So you can see all these Blue Fired Flamers. And then you can see an Exalted Flamer right here. He's larger and he's pink. Um, and then there's another one back here. Once again, he looks significantly larger. He's pink color coded and he's got pink fire. Uh, we've also got a unit of Chaos Spawn, which I, I, I know some people have been like, oh, the Chaos Spawn kind of looked like weirdly larger, but that may just be like due to some screenshots. Um, most of the times when I found the Chaos Spawn, like they're just, they're really spaced out or look like they're missing unit models, but they they look normal sized. They're just changed to be zinc, zinc colored and normal unit size as well. Uh, another entry of notice is here. It looks like we've got either an alchemist or an astromancer. Uh, it looks more like the astromancer to me. And it looks like he's shooting out like a really brightly colored orange flame as one of his spells. Um, but that looks to maybe be the Lord of Yang caster. It's difficult to tell from here. But considering how brightly colored he is and he's growing with like a whitish aura. I'm assuming it's the dude who I think is the astromancer. And then here you can see the cultist of Zinch. Y'all see him? That looks to be the Cultist of Zinch hero, because we know that Korn has the Cultist of Korn hero. I'm assuming every single one of the Dark Gods is going to have the Cultist hero. Um, and I'm assuming this is the Zinch one, because we see it looks like a guy, he's holding a sword, he's holding a Zinch, a very clearly Zinchian staff, and it looks human. Um, or at least vaguely close to being human. It doesn't look like a, doesn't look like a Herald of Zinch, and it doesn't look like an Exalted Flamer which those are the only other types of demons besides the greater demon uh, that are heroes. So I am 99% certain that's a cultist of Zinch. Um, we've also got some random flying dude over here. I don't know what his deal is. We've got Furies. Uh, I think that's it for this image. Let's move on to the next one. We got some beautiful artwork. Uh, and then here we've got the super badass Zhao Ming. So Zhao Ming, the Iron Dragon and Lord of the West is uh a big white dragon with sexy iron armor uh i actually really really love his dragon form uh i i love white scaled lizard creatures and he just looks absolutely phenomenal i really like his horn design as well and you can see that he breathes fire unlike um um meow ying who only 
uh, who does lightning. And if you look way in the back, you'll see defilers of zinc or defilers, soul grinders of zinc. And actually, if we go to this image where we've got uh, Miao, um, Miao Ying messing up some Zinch boys, you can see more Soul Grinders in the back. It looks like the Soul Grinders might actually come in, like, either whenever they took these screenshots, they always had the Soul Grinders suspiciously close together, or maybe for some weird reason the Soul Grinders run in a unit. I am more inclined to believe that there are single entities that just happen to be standing close together than I am to believe that they are um, multiples, because that would be weird. Here we get another look at some of the peasant infantry. So you can see a lot of these peasant dudes uh, with uh, like their little forked halberds and stuff. Um, or their, I, I'm assuming they're spears, not halberds. And then if you actually look, you can see some jade warriors. Jade warriors with sword and board. So we got sword and board jade warriors down there. And then uh, here are the Zinch infantry uh, that are mortal. So we've got Zinch Forsaken, which Korn does not get Forsaken, but Zinch does, which makes total sense. Zinch is really big on mutations. We've also, though, got some basic uh, warriors. So it looks like, so Korn had three variants of Chaos Warrior infantry, which I think Korn got Halberd. I can't remember if it's Halberd or Great Weapon, but he got Halberds, I think, uh, Twin hand weapons, and then hand hand weapon and shield. Zinch gets Forsaken, uh, hand weapon and shield, so sword and board, uh, which I really, really like the look of the Warriors of Zinch. And then, bizarrely, Zinch looks to have single-handed weapons with no shield as the last variant, which is an interesting choice. I, I would have thought you would see, like, Halberd or Great Weapon making up the last variant, uh, as opposed to single-handed weapon, and then single-handed weapon and shield, and then Forsaken. I'm wondering if these guys will be doing something with that offhand, um, as opposed to, like, just awkwardly holding a sword and that's it. Um, I'm assuming maybe they'll have some kind of spell or shooting ability or something, but I really, really like uh, the Zinch Warrior design, just like I really, really like the Chaos Warrior design. Um, their shields are, like, almost look like they have fleshy growths coming out of them. They got like big old eyes in the center. And then the regular warriors have a lot of like teeth added. So like they've got all these bones coming out of their pauldrons and shin guards and stuff. And then they've also got like eyes and other little like large ruinous symbols etched onto their shoulder plates. They have, it looks like the shoulder plates are like the really, really different look about them. Uh, but they have really, really exotic colors and they're very shiny, uh, which looks great. Um, so outside of that, um, that's, we're going to talk about that here and here's kind of a comparison. So this is the basic warrior of chaos from the warriors of chaos roster. So this is undivided boy. And then this is the Zinch boy. So you can see that, um, there are some, uh, there, there are quite a few similarities. Uh, the biggest differences seem to revolve mostly around the pauldrons. So the, the Zinch guys have, um, uh, uh, re they have very, very different shoulder guards, and it looks like they might have slightly different gauntlet designs. Um, so a very similar design, uh, just like with the, the Warriors of Corn had a very similar design, but they had, like, fire effects added and were colored different. Zinch got new pauldrons and has a new weapon variant, and uh, the shields are more exotically different. Uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like the chest plate is similar, but not the same. There's, there, I don't know what these things are. It looks like he's maybe got eyes on his chest or something. You can see it's a similar design, but he's got something different going on, whatever these circles are. Um, so it's a very similar design, um, but, I mean, it's the same unit. <laughs> Just uh, geared up a little bit different to make it work for Zinch. All right, so that's gonna be it uh, for this video. Uh, I've got some other stuff that I'll be showing on later. We're, we're gonna we're gonna talk a lot about. Uh, they've released some information on Zhao Ming and Miao, uh, Miao Ying, so I will be doing a video dedicated to the two of them and talking about what we know about them so far, uh, which is a surprising amount. And we'll also talk about potential start positions and all of that other information. Uh, here you can see I was doing some reading about the Longma uh, on Wikipedia. But I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, it I'm really, really excited for Cathay. They honestly, I was 100% on Team Nurgle. 
and was like, the only thing I'm not going to, the only reason I would not play Nurgle first is because they released Boris Ursus. And then they come out here with Cathay and I'm like, well, <laughs> I, I kind of need <laughs> waifu for laifu. I need, I need that meow, meow ying in my life. Um, so, um, very, very exciting stuff. And I'm really looking forward to more information that they have to show us. Uh, I will be having a video coming out every day this week talking about various different aspects of Cathay and new information. Uh, I've been digging up a lot of things. I have a lot of theories that I've been, I, I have some really interesting working theories about how they're going to function and how their lore was actually very cleverly designed, but that's all things that we will examine later this week. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you around. Thanks for watching guys.